There was a moment that launched our communication. Before we got married, mm -hmm. we were having the party at the house. Remember that? We were playing Pictionary, 20 people around the table. Yes. And Trey is sitting on my lap. He's like one and a, he's like, T might be just about two. In some order, she cursed at me in front of 20 people at this party. She's like, Will, would you shut the f up? Ooh. With Trey sitting on my lap. I Damn. remember that. Right? And I grabbed the newspaper and I said, Bah! <laughs> Can I talk to you in the other room, please? Oh my God. And I was like, Right. Did this joker just hit me on my head with a newspaper? <laughs> like I'm a dog. We went in the other room, and I was like, I said, Jada, this is the deal. I grew up in a household where I watched my father punch my mother in the face. Damn. And I will not create a house, a space, an interaction with a person where there's profanity and violence. Mm. If you have to talk to me like uh -huh. that, we can't be together. Wow. We're not going to use any profanity right. in our interactions. We're not going to raise our voice. We're not going to be violent. I can't do it. Yeah. She was like, well, you're not going to be hitting me in my head. I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, get out. Dang. Right? And she was looking. That was the dumbest crap she had ever heard. And yeah. she was like, wait, so you would break up with me over some words. I was like, yeah, I just <laughs> did. I was like, we're not cursing. Damn. And her eyes welled up with tears. And she was like, okay. It was 20 years before we used profanity in any conversation wow. that we had. We yeah. didn't use wow. any profanity yep. in any we never argument. Raised our we voice. never raised our voices. We took communication courses, yep. all of that. That's beautiful. And we never had a violence. Never raised never, your never, voice. We didn't raise our voices. All right. This is a story that has been circulating. It's been covered. Angry Man covered it. Uh, Kendra covered it. A bunch of other people covered it. But my sub seemed to want me to cover this one. So I will actually talk about it. Um, everybody's probably seen the clip you just saw. Everybody's probably seen it already with, uh, Will Smith sitting down and talking about when him and Jada first got together and the first time they had a serious fight argument. Let's put it that way. And a lot of people really were kind of so, so by Will Smith and him so-called being an alpha, whatever that means or a real man, whatever that means. And basically you just saw it where Will Smith talked about how Jada hit one of his deal breakers, which is common, you know, especially with black women, that's common for uh, black women to do something like that. Well, embarrass their black men just in front of the whole world. I mean, you just saw it with Tina Knowles and her husband. It's so normal for black women to display disrespect for their men it's just most people just kind of brush it off if they say tina knows if if richard lawson didn't have that look on his face and just sat there and grinned like most guys would have done nobody would have even thought about anything about what tina knows said but for him to show his displeasure about being disrespected in public like that is the reason that most people actually found out that something was wrong, that something wasn't right, that it was uh, it was ugly, even though it was it was an obvious disrespect with what Tina and all said. Same thing with Jada. When Jada told Will to shut the fuck up in front of 20 people in his own house. Now, she said it because she, as black women, they think that is normal. That's how you speak to your men. That's how you speak to your man, much less men, you know, because a lot of women talk that stuff to men that they don't even know. And I've had been approached uh, by strange black females that thought it, they were entitled to get into my business and say something to me. It's strange that white, you know, that uh, maybe it's a female thing, but it's strange that black females and entitled white females would do the same. I, white, in fact, white females do it less than black females, where they think they can admonish black men that they don't even know 
in public like their children and think that they're safe. Whereas another man, no matter what his size was, wouldn't do it. But that is a, a video for another day. I'm not going to do it here. Now, as you heard where the story was where Jada Pinkett was dating Will and Will, she cussed Will out and he, he, she hit that deal breaker. And Will, not to hurt her, but to get her attention, when basically what Will did with the rolled up newspapers, not to hurt her because he knew the rolled up newspaper wasn't going to hurt her, but it was going to embarrass her just like she embarrassed him. She embarrassed him unconsciously. Now, I don't know whether Will set the ground rules before, which is probably what he should have done, which is the only thing I could actually argue with Will about, that he probably didn't set the ground rules before because she did it so easily and she did it in public. So I have to fault Will for that one because he wasn't 100% G. But when she did hit a deal breaker, he immediately corrected her. Pop on the head with the newspaper probably shocked the 20 or so guests even more than her cussing him out. And when he pulled her into the other room to talk to her, he wasn't angry. And in fact, when he popped her upside the head with the newspaper, she knew she had done something wrong. So he explained to her that this is the deal. You know, basically straight up the deal breaker. This is the deal. And he explained why he wasn't going to live that way. And if she was that type of woman, that she wasn't for him. So we can't be together if we're going to hit each other and cuss each other out. He says he refuses to live that way because as a child, he had no choice. He had to live that way. And of course, her being a black woman and feeling entitled, she took the superior stance. She said, but you ain't going to be hitting me upside the head with my own motherfucking newspaper. And that's why he put his head down. You don't get it. Basically, you don't get it. He said, get out. Leave. In other words, as much as I love you, I'm going to be willing to take the ill. I just said that that's a deal breaker. Leave. She looked in his eyes and probably knew that he was serious. That's why she said, "You are you really going to break up with me over words? In other words, Negro, are you serious? And he just looked at her and said, I just did break up with you. Then the tears came. Because she realized he was serious. And then she made up her mind. Okay. If that's what it takes to be with you, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to bite my tongue. And the rest is history. They've been married for over 20 years. Why? Because he stood his ground. Every man has to have a deal break. You got to have breaks. You got to have deal breakers. You got to have rules. Now, I have to give Jada credit because she could have walked out and she could have took six months to a year to have a come to Jesus moments with most black women will. They won't they won't immediately realize where the deal is. They just won't. Maybe because Will has you know way more money and way more power that it's immediate rather than, you know, as opposed to the regular black guy. But process is the same the process is the same and what a lot of black guys aren't willing to do is take that L because there's a lot of black guys that would have gone with Jada Pinkett and as fine as the little ass is they'd have made an exception they'd have, they'd have bit their tongue look at Richard Lawson look Richard Lawson should have picked up and walked out but he bit his tongue he made a face but he bit his tongue now whether Tina Knowles actually hit a deal breaker or not I don't know, because every man is different. There's a lot of guys that would have laughed it off, took that hurt and buried it instead of standing his ground and be willing to lose that woman. Trust, you no, know, God knows I've lost women because a woman hit a deal breaker. And God knows after they, I, they hit that deal breaker and I left them, I shed a tear. I'm not going to lie. I shed a tear because I did love that woman. But as a man, you can't live on your knees, can you? And that's the choice. Are you going to live on your knees and simp or are you going to stand up, straighten your back and get on your feet and take that L like a man? And sometimes, sometimes the choice is made by you and sometimes it's made for you. It is what it is. But that's all I got on Will Smith and Jada. Real brief. And, you know, I thought it was 
then the whole story was pretty simple, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. I don't even know why we're going over it and over it and over it. You know, Dr. Phil has been saying that for, you know, 15 years about deal breakers. A lot of guys don't have them. Then that's the problem. They don't have boundaries. They don't have deal breakers. So they will go down the, the hill and go through the, 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 what is the seven levels of disrespect? Because they don't have boundaries. They don't have deal breakers. They're not willing to take a loss and keep going. But with that, I'm going to jump off of here. This is BGS out, and I will see you guys on the next one.